Finally, some fresh air. <sighs> Master David. You could tell it was me. Your footsteps. I ken the walk of everyone here. Well, that's, that's rather incredible. Aye, that it is, laddie. That it is. I hear better than most. See more than most and all. Father had a similar toolbox. Back when he still fixed things around the house. Father had a similar toolbox. Back... When you talked about what they did to my father, what did you mean? You shouldn't have come back. You cannot go through what he did as a bairn and no be sick. So his hospitalization was justified then? Not for me to say. Before you think of putting down roots here, you should think on what the poison groom here did to your father. You can? No, not really. If you don't mind, this door will no mend itself. I'll leave you to it then. Father had a similar toolbox. But I'm not keen on waiting for his return. Nobody left to mourn the dead, or care for their graves, it seems. I've seen this before. In the painting. This is the grave I, I saw in that waking dream or whatever it was. The grave my father buried something in as a boy. Who's buried here? If I could just... Ah, these vines are too thick. I need something to cut through these.
you wouldn't have to have a chapel key, would you? Ain't set a foot in there for years, and I don't intend to either. That'll be a no, then. Uh, the graveyard. Is it a family plot? Aye. No matter how high and mighty, all the Gordons end up there. <sighs> a cheery thought. It's a shame we don't have the means to properly care for the graves. Why bother? His bones and food for worms. Um, may I borrow your bolt cutter? Maybe. If I can what you need it for. I told you I want them. That's all you need to know. Is it no? Let me tell you this, son. Your name may be on some scrap of paper someplace, but this here belongs to Lady Margaret, and always will, until it's her turn to join them in the groom. Rory's tools. A hammer, a tenon saw, a bolt cutter. All a bit rusty, but in good order. Rory's tools. Rory's tools. Um, may I borrow your bolt cutter? Maybe. The graves. I would like to tidy them up. That way I can pay my respects properly. Is that a fact? Why is that then? They are my family. They deserve to be remembered. Ah, fair enough, laddie. Just grab it yourself, will ye? Cecilia Shaw Nee Gordon. Aunt Cecilia. Now, let's see if there's something really buried in here. Another piece of the castle model. Another part of the model. And it's stained with what seems to be old blood. Why did Father bury this when he was a child? Another part of the model, and it's stained with what seems to be old blood. Why did Father bury this when he was a child?
I hope you found your peace. Were you sick, like they say you were? Or the victim of this, this curse? This curse of the Gordons? Whatever it is, I think you may have passed it on to me. Being the chronicle of the family Gordon, as laid down by Sir Drummond Gordon, the year of our Lord, 1413. Local legend speaks of this particular glen as being inhabited from time immemorial. Enigmatic, elaborately carved Pictish stones stand as timeless evidence of this. As for the locals, they appear prideful of the counsel they delight in giving to visitors. Traveler, beware. The Celtic peoples arrived in this place like a great beast, bringing with them the bloodlines that would eventually spawn the Gordon clan. Using their superior numbers, knowledge, and machines of war, they swiftly conquered the primeval Picts. With them, they brought to their religion and druid clerics. The magics these wise men used did shape forever the lands, even until this present day. It is said, that the sempiternal burden our family carries rose at that time. It is well recorded how the Empire of Rome did fail to tame the wayward Scots, that they did even raise a barrier to protect their mighty empire. What is seldom told is the truth behind their defeat. Our ancestors drew upon ancient powers to aid their victory. Powers not easily fathomed by the fragile human mind. This aid did come at the greatest of costs. A debt as yet unsettled. A price we will continue to pay until the last Gordon passes to dust. For the centuries, we Gordons made the land our own. Others did bow to us as we kept the secrets of Skahandu. The secrets of the Black Mirror. Even as tragedy and madness did fester in our foundations, we held fast and steered the land through vile English attack and worse. In time, the Gordons and the land became one. Some pages have been ripped out. The only thing left seems to be some kind of family oath. In blood we are bound to the land we protect, to the truths we alone may conceal. I shall forfeit my life, lest my clan should suffer. I shall forfeit my spirit to hold the darkness at bay. In blood we are bound till the day of the reckoning. feels like. It can't be real.
The place is crumbling. Not the safest spot to pro- The local- The Celt- I shall to hold till then. Is this what madness feels like? Right? Uh, did you... did you see her? She... Uh, drowned. Calm down, you are in shock. What were you doing clambering about in here? <laughs> Oh, if I told you, 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 you'd think me mad. Odd. That is just what your father said to me. What? Who are you? My name is Dr. Leah Farber. I treated your father at the asylum. The asylum? Let's get you back to the castle and make sure you are all right. <laughs> 